Hey everybody, this is me Shatakshi Jha and I am from Sri Vaishnav Institute of Forensic Science and my topic is Automated Fingerprint Identification System or you can call AFIS. Automated Fingerprint Identification System is nothing but a process of using a computer to match fingerprint against a database of known and unknown prints. Like there is a database which has different kinds of fingerprints in it which are known, some of are not known and it is matched with the print of a suspected person or from a victim. Now automated fingerprint identification system are primarily used by the law enforcement agencies for the criminal identification purposes. The most important of which is the identification of a person suspected of committing a crime or linking a suspect to other unsolved crimes. Now the ability of office to search hundreds of millions of records in seconds greatly reduces time spent by the police when searching for identities of suspects, criminals, victims or unknown person. Like when office was not there, they used to use a paper database which was more time taking and which was not so accurate but after office was discovered, it became a very easy play for the police officers to detect whether the fingerprint uh, is a, of a match or not. Now, office is also able to assess the quality of the match, decreasing possible errors and mistakes. So you can blindly trust uh, office. When analyzing a crime scene, it is of paramount importance to be able to separate fingerprints, like fingerprints of the usual occupants and the fingerprints of the uh, possible suspects. For this, office is indispensable due to its quick response and matching time. It can group fingerprints from the same individuals, reducing search times and the complexity of the necessary searches. In simple cases, it can take only a few hours from finding a fingerprint to identifying and apprehending a suspect. Now, on a technical level, verification system verify a claimed identity, like a user might claim to be him, like he, present, he can present his national ID as uh, John or something like that but what is the proof that he is uh, John so office also uh, used to identify and uh, give a clar clarification that the person presenting his ID is him not uh, a different uh, person office have been used in large-scale civil identifications the chief purpose of which is to prevent multiple enrollments in the electoral like there can there can be a possibility where a single person can um, enroll for multiple voter registrations and for the biasness and for dominating his personal favorite party but to restrict this process office is used and it is also used as well for welfare, driving licensing or similar system. Another benefit of a civil office is to check the background of job applicants for sensitive uh, post and educational personnel who have close contact with children. Now let us uh, go through uh, the history of office, how it created and we already studied why it was created. We, knew, we, knew, we know the methods and we know the working. Now we'll be studying why and how it, it was created. The very first office was created in 1974 by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And then only it was only considering and it, it was only uh, contained the so-called minutia points or the rich characteristics of a particular fingerprint. But then by the time it got evolved and uh, it, uh, it, it used to store uh, different different uh, characteristics of the fingerprint but because at that time it was very expensive for the creators to create the whole fingerprint and store it in the database although computers took up the whole room like it was a huge setup and they improved search time significantly while it took police examiners a month or more than to compare fingerprints for a match but then when it was based on the paper database but then office came and it became a very easy task for them and it took only 30 minutes but nowadays office is uh, so fast the same search takes time less than a single blink of eye the very first office was deployed in 2009 along with fingerprints and palm prints it now also 
supports faces and irises so what does it mean like when the first office was created it included only fingerprints with minutias but nowadays when it got evolved then it when it got evolved it was uh, it was storing the whole fingerprint the palm prints also and nowadays it's also capturing the faces and the irises in the eye and it is also called as automated biometric identification system abis so this this is basically a chart showing what office actually do what are the basic uh, uses so it is used in the border control for the safety for the security public safety e passport verification latent print matching which we already studied voter registration the electoral example national id verification healthcare and welfare this is a chart which explains how it works now a very easy working but uh, when office was not there it became a very complicated working so 10 prints are taken the 10 prints will be uh, checked like the quality is should be appropriate there, sh there should not be any more ink deposition and like that the well office does not uh, need ink for that but the quality is checked and everything is checked now the quality after uh, after the checking of the quality the features are extracted so basically the features are extracted there like the different minutias and uh, the different patterns are classified into different different groups and then the database is prepared by putting them into different different groups when a different uh, uh, suspected identified unidentified fingerprint is observed the same process is followed and it got uh, it's it is matched with the database and then it it is uh, observed by the expert examiner office contains more than 22 million fingerprint records and more than 17000 crime scene marks office is used to provide advanced non control airport meteorological and pertinent notum information to aircraft specialists must provide local airport advisory l l l a a information when the office is not available the united states integrated automated fingerprint identification system holds the fingerprint sets collected in the us and is managed by the fbi so basically the um, office of us is managed by the federal bureau of investigation many states also have their own offices offices have capabilities such as latent searching electronic image storage and electronic exchange of fingerprints and responses now how does office help criminal investigations office is able to search the database for a computer complete a partial fingerprint and returns matching candidates matches usually contain a score expressing the likelihood of being a correct match in the office database the accuracy of the search can be increased when more fingerprints from the same person are available basically office will work in any case but it, if you need a great amount of accuracy from office you can provide multiple samples from a single person Uh, uh it would be more great if you provide the multiple sample of the single finger with of the sing, same person accuracy also depends on the quality and completeness of the latent fit it should not be the latent fit should not be half mixed or uh, like that you can understand the standardization of templates also means that offices can share electronic fingerprints with other systems example in international investigations what is an office database the database of office itself can contain images of fingerprints sets of fingerprints palm prints or footprints along with identifying data of the individual like whatever identification mark or identifying data of the particular individual from the sample has been taken there can come from uh, criminal investigations or from other sources such as biometric civil registers like the data can be 
from criminal investigation like from criminal diary from uh, when the from when the criminal investigation was going on from this biometric normal civil registers which includes every uh, normal person's uh, fingerprint now the database also contain templates generated from source images to enable quick searching through this office to match candidates with the con correct equipment the office database can able to accessed by field computers helping with the identification of victims of natural disaster or when disturbing state uh, dispersing state aid like if um, if you, if a certain example is uh, can be given like if there is a place in which flood victims are there how will you identify the flood victims for compensation afis also uh, determines and identify that by their fingerprints that they have suffered from such a disaster or not for for mission uh, critical applications the afis database can be duplicated into a disaster recovery site in case of massive failure this site can be up and running in a short time to continue providing critical services such as in border control applications this is also used in the border safety i hope you uh, like the video and uh, you uh, understood the gist of office which is automated fingerprint identification system thank you